Hello, friends, neighbors, and residents of the Second Middlesex. My name is Gary Fisher, and I am a Democrat running for state senator of the Second Middlesex. Let me start with my humblest condolences to those who have lost loved ones to COVID-19. My daughter was diagnosed with COVID-19, and the fear that it brought was incredible. We are thankful that she has fully recuperated. I ask that we stay vigilant and reduce the spread of this virus. I stand with Black Lives Matter movement. I understand and I acknowledge their desire to make changes to improve our society and make, sure, make us aware of past and present wrongs while demanding equality. It is time to carefully move from protest to policies like the No Hate Act. Let me tell you some things about me personally. I am a father, grandfather, educator, and an advocate. Raised in Cambridge, along with eight brothers and sisters, after graduating from Cambridge Public Schools, I received my undergraduate degree from UMass Boston and a master's from Boston College. I spent 32 years as an educator in Boston Public Schools teaching civics. I found love in that work and advocating for my students as well, their community and my peers while negotiating union contracts. I am committed to accessible, affordable housing, quality public education, free and assisted tuition for state colleges, additional support to protect the elderly, and full transparency with health care costs. As an advocate for the working class, I am running to fight for the working class that has been forgotten for the past 15 years. The first issue I would like to address is housing. Affordable housing is important to the people of Massachusetts to be more direct. Cambridge, Somerville, and Medford. For example, the average annual salary in Cambridge is $86,000, and the average one bedroom rent in Cambridge is $37,356 a year. This is almost 50% of one salary. In Somerville, the average salary is $69,000 a year. And the annual rent is $35,928, which is almost 50% of annual salary. I believe rent should not be more than 30% of one's annual salary. This issue has deteriorated the population of potential home buyers because you cannot save if half your salary is going to rent. You will not have a down payment on a house if half your salary is going to rent and the other 50% is just to live on. The issue has grown to this point under the purview of my opponent and nothing has been done. The next point I wish to address is education. To educate all students, we must have the correct environment and educational resources. Our future, future rests in the public schools. We must provide educators and students with tools to enhance learning. There are four points I wish to present. First, smaller class sizes. With smaller class sizes, we're able to reach every student. Second, educational resources. These resources should be available for every child whenever in need. We don't have resources that are up to date, which is another problem. We need to have up to date technological resources available for every child. Third, Teachers working under one certification. 
for those who don't understand, a certification is the license that a teacher gets. Many teachers have multiple certifications and districts take advantage of this by asking them to teach under two certifications, three certifications. This makes the job difficult, less sufficient, and it causes this teacher to not be as efficient and uh, successful with so many tasks at hand. But under one certification, they could be more successful. Fourth issue, efficient student assessments. A lot of times we're asked to assess students. These assessments beyond NCAS causes us, us to come up with assessments or diagnosis that are not correct. If we have efficient student assessments in the correct people assessing opposed to any teacher given the materials to assess, we could be more successful and meet the needs of those students. By the way, I want to thank and recognize those parents who have dealt with their teachers, uh, their students' education during this COVID-19 crisis. Thank you. I thank you for taking up the task. And I know from this task alone, you, have, you get great respect. The next issue I wish you address, transparency of medical cost. Medical costs should be transparent. Right now, medical costs continue to skyrocket and people are looking to the government for support. People should be told about the itemized cost of their medical care. To make a difference, the government must put checks and balances in place on medical providers and HMOs to manage the cost. Too often, people are getting an additional bill after they believed that the medical insurance or the HMO has taken care of that. We need to ensure that insurance companies cannot take advantage of those in need. We need to ensure that medical coverage is available to everybody, to all the people. Next, I want to talk about senior citizens. Under this COVID-19, a lot of people have abandoned senior citizens or they've been isolated. And I'm not talking about just the ones in homes. I'm talking to ones that still live in their own homes. We need to check in on them. We need to put a little bit more in the pot when you cook for your dinner or your lunch. Share it with these people. Knock on the door. Step back six feet and watch them smile. This will make a difference. This will help us move forward. Next, I want everyone in second Middlesex district to do an after action report and start with the question, could your life have been better within the past 15 years based on state government decisions? Second question, do you have a big ask? Send your answer to GaryFisher2020 at gmail.com. What do you need from me as your senator? My big ask of you is to support you, but I need you to help me support you by contacting people you know in Second Middlesex. That's Cambridge, Medford, Somerville and Winchester. In your, go to your address books, look on your phones, call these people, explain who Gary Fisher is, and if needed, refer to GaryFisher2020.org or GaryFisher2020.com and ask them to vote for Gary Fisher on September 1st. I know there's a lot of talk about November, but our primary is in September. Thank you for your time. I wish you all the best and stay healthy. Thank you. Mm -hmm.